So Bob and I are co-teachers in our ELA class, and we've been teaching together for a couple of years and doing different technology and writing together. And you know, one thing we often talk about is ways that we can do projects to engage all of our writers. And so the game design project is one that we're kind of curious about how engaged our students will be across the whole spectrum of writers. So what do you see, Bob? Well, I, the kids that enjoy writing and are always looking for different ways to write are, are taking off and running. That's, that, that was the easy part. The things that uh, are surprising to me, or maybe not so surprising, but um, uh, I enjoy seeing are the kids that can't express those details more than they, uh, more than a brief sentence or two are taking this project. And uh, they know video games. Uh, they know what they like about video games. And it's a great way for them to express uh, exactly what they want to do with video games and, and uh, uh, share that project with the uh, with other kids. So I think yeah. it's great. And we've been trying to work in uh, different ways of writing uh, related to the project uh, around brainstorming about game design. Uh, we have working now on a, a video game review. Yeah, that's a storyboarding. storyboarding. Uh, those are all good st strategies uh, to help these kids that, that maybe need that little extra push to, to express themselves. I think also I saw it <clears throat> in language arts. We saw the the the, um, the really a uh, nice push in our class. But I mean, when when you talk about kids about the uh, the science part of it, mm -hmm. uh, we, we did the, the cross curriculum connection with, with this project to other the other uh, uh, subjects has been uh, even just an extra uh, boost. So that's what I think. Yeah, and we'll see how they the games come out when they're published too, uh, and what they'll what they'll kind of reflect on it as well. Yeah, yeah, be great. Right, good.